Hey, what's up guys? Joseph Williams at Jots Fitness. Just hanging out with my newly acquired piece for the home gym. Uh, it's gonna be sick. Uh, but originally, I had made a video a couple days ago about Hayden Schneider and his uh, bench press fail and what my speculation was. I kind of talked about the wrist flexors and wrist extensors and how that might have been a factor for him. And from a physiological standpoint, my thought process is, so you have your wrist flexors and your wrist extensors. Um, but I saw this morning he posted a video talking about how he's already hit 495 before and addressing the situation talking about how the bar was bent and I mean I've been following Hayden for years and I knew that he could hit 495 I've seen him do it before and uh, I just wanted to go ahead and, and give you guys kind of like a look this is what can happen when you use crappy equipment. I'm not saying his equipment was crappy, but if the bar was bent, you don't need to be benching with it. It doesn't need to be in use, period. So if you are at a, a commercial gym, or if you're looking into getting your own gym equipment, buying stuff used like I've done, don't buy crap that is bent. I don't even consider taking something that's broke like that. So basically what I'm saying is, be careful when you're putting together your home gym, be careful when you're at the commercial gym, uh, wherever it is you work out. If a bar is bent, don't use it. If a piece of equipment is broke, don't think you can use it and get away with it because you could end up hurt. Uh, luckily for Hayden, he's fine and um, prayers to him. Hopefully he has a, uh, his recovery continues and he doesn't have anything to worry about. Anyway, obviously today was a little different than the normal video. I've got some good things coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys have a great Easter. Thanks for watching. Like the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.